Please wants to know how to use the compound personal pronouns in sentences. Gusto niya makapagsalita gamit ang compound personal pronouns. Kapag Chris sinabing pronouns, yan lang yung pampalit sa mga pangalan. Imbis na sabihin natin na Chris is walking. Dahil lalaki ka, ang gagamitin natin sa'yo ay he. He is walking. So, pag personal pronoun naman, yun nga yung may I, he, she, it. So, paano pag sinabing compound personal pronoun? Kapag nangyaring meron sa huli na self at saka selves, yun na ay compound personal pronouns mula sa personal pronoun na dinagdagan ng self at saka selves. Pag sinabing singular, yun na iisa lang. Plural ay marami. Pag sinabing first person, halimbawa itong magkausap na to, lalaki at babae, nag-uusap sila. Kung itong lalaki ang nagsasalita, siya ang first person. Okay? Pag itong kausap niya naman, nagsalita na, kinaka yung kinakausap niya, ang tawag dito sa babae na to ay second person. At kapag meron silang pinag-uusapan, ang tawag dun ay third person. Kaya meron tayong person na first person, yan yung nagsasalita, second person, yan yung kausap, third person, yan yung pinag-uusapan. Okay? At yan ay mula sa personal pronoun na may, may naging compound personal pronoun nung dinagdagan ng, my, ng self. Naging myself para sa isang tao lang na nagsasalita. Pag marami naman yung nagsasalita ay ourselves. Kung mapapansin mo na napalitan yung F ng V, tas nagdagan ng S. Itong yourself, yung kausap, nag-iisa lang yourselves, marami silang kausap. At itong himself, herself, itself, itong itself, tumutupo yun sa bagay, herself sa babae, himself sa lalaki. Themselves, kapag marami na yung pinag-uusapan. So, meron yung dalawang uri, yung compound personal pronoun. Yun ay ang reflexive at saka intensive. Ang reflexive lang ay, ano, refers back to the doer. Essential siya, bakit? Ganto, limbawa. Christian laughed, laughed at himself when he fell over the chair. Ang compound personal pronoun dyan ay ito. At ito ay third person dahil pinag-uusapan natin si Christian. Kaya him, tas dinagdagan ng self, naging himself. Yan ay essential dahil hindi pwedeng wala itong personal compound Uh, compound personal pronoun na himself kasi ang mangyayari niyan magiging Christian laughed at ano at when he fell over the chair dapat lagi yang merong object okay ito Char Charlene pricked herself when she touched the needle pricked herself sino yung um nag pricked si Charlene kaya may herself dyan when she touched the needle essential yan dahil hindi pwedeng maalis itong ating reflexive pronoun ang tawag reflexive kapag hindi pwedeng alisin sa isang sentence at tumutukol lang itong reflexive na to dito sa nagsasalita ito Charlene tsaka Christian tinutukol lang nila yung sarili nila Kapag intensive naman, emphasize the doer ng essential. Ibig sabihin ng emphasize the doer, binibigyang diin lang yung sarili niya ni, o, nung, ano, nung prono na yun, nung tao o bagay. Halimbawa, it was the boys themselves who prepared the meal. It was the boys themselves. Itong themselves, tumutukoy lang yan dito sa boys. Binibigyang diin lang na yung mga lalaki na talaga na yun ang naghanda ng, pag, ng meal. Then, essential yan kasi pwedeng wala na toong ano, compound personal na themselves, yung third person, plural ng compound personal pronoun. Pwedeng wala na yan. Pwede nang ganto na lang. It was the boys who prepared the meal. O, wala na yung themselves. Pwedeng ganun. Kaya yan ay non-essential. Ang mga intensive pronouns ay non-essential. At yan lang ay nagbibigay diin dito sa pinag-uusapan. Ito namang Raymond should do that himself. Itong himself binibigyan daan lang ay binibigyan diin lang si Raymond. Si Raymond talaga. Dapat talagang gawin niya ni Raymond. 
Ganun. Pwedeng wala na tong himself na to. Pwedeng hindi na natin bigyang diin itong, itong si Raymond. Pwede natin gawin na lang na Raymond should do that. Period. Okay? Yun ang pinagkaiba ng reflexive at saka intensive pronoun. Itong intensive pronoun, binibigyang diin lang yung pinag-uusapan o yung nagsasalita. At hindi yun essential. Unlike dito sa reflexive, essential. At dapat nandyan. Okay, Chris? Halimbawa ito. He can understand himself better. Itong himself na yan, binibigyang... Ano yan? Reflexive o intensive? He can understand himself better. Yan ay, since ito ay object nitong can understand sino, sumasagot sa tanong na sino, he can understand himself better. So, yan ay reflexive at yan ay essential. Okay? It refers back to the, ano, dito, subject. How about she bought herself two new pens? She bought herself two new pens. Yan ay, ano yan, she bought, pwede bang she bought two new pens na lang? Pwede naman, at itong ano, herself na yan, pwedeng indirect object. Pero pwede namang wala din yan. Pwedeng, ano yan, reflexive pronoun. Ito, they cannot do it. They cannot do it themselves. Itong themselves na to, non-essential yan. Pwedeng wala yan. Pwedeng ganito na lang. They cannot do it. Itong themselves lang binibigyang diin lang itong day. Ito naman. You can be prepared for the exam yourself. Matik itong yourself. You yourself. Pwede kasi itong ilipat dito agad eh. Para bigyang diin yung, yung kausap na you. You yourself can be prepared for the exam. At yan ay non-essential. Pwedeng wala yan. Kasi yan lang naman ay nagbibigay diin. Dun sa kausap. Ito, we can perform this ourselves very easily. So, pag nilagay natin yan dito, we can, we ourselves can perform this very easily. Matik yan ay non-essential o pwedeng wala sa sentence. Pero, para mas maganda pakinggan, nandyan yan. Ito, this man himself can defeat the alligator. Parang yung this man can defeat the alligator himself. Ganon, nilagay natin dito sa dulo. At pwedeng wala yan, kasi yan ay intensive pronoun lang naman. Ito, she herself helped us. Pwedeng she helped us. Kaya yan ay ano, non-essential o intensive pronoun. Ito, they themselves went to the temple and prayed for us. They themselves. They went to the temple and prayed for us themselves. So, yun ay, ano, F, ano lang yan. Um, hindi yan reflexive, intensive yan. At pwede yung wala. Ito, he blamed himself for the failure in the competition. She blamed who? She blamed who? So, pag may sumasagot sa tanong na ganun, yun ay reflexive pronoun at essential. Kasi kailangan ng ng object sa isang sentence at pwedeng gumamit tayo ng reflexive pronoun. He blamed himself for the failure in the competition. She hurt herself for the group mistake. She hurt who? Herself. So, yun ay reflexive pronoun. Ito, I gave myself enough time. I gave who? Myself. Yan ay object. So, yan ay reflexive pronoun you should not let yourself who yourself he bought himself he bought who himself what a, a gift for me she reads important news herself she herself reads important news so ito ay ano emphatic hindi yan ano reflexive It's intensive lang yan binibigyan din lang yung set yung nagsasalita She herself reads important news. The dog scratched itself very badly. The dog scratched what itself very badly. So, yan ay reflexive o intensive. The dog has scratched. That's reflective since it answered the, the questions what. The question what. We have treated ourselves 
in a big hotel at the occasion we have treated who ourselves so yan ay reflexive pronoun you make this you can make this recipe yourselves at home you yourselves can make this re recipe at home so yan ay reflexive pronoun binibigyan diin lang itong you yung kausap kids are able to perform well themselves pwedeng kids themselves are able to perform well so ito ay itong themselves na to yung yung compound person po na, na themselves ay yan lang ay intensive pronoun at hindi reflexive pronoun okay na gets Chris halimbawa ito have you wrote this book yourselves ano to intensive or reflexive have you yourselves pwedeng ganon so matik ito ay intensive lang you yourself spent all money o you yourself binigyan din lang yung you so yan ay yan ay intensive pronoun I have cooked today's lunch myself I myself have cooked today's lunch It, okay itong I binibigyang diin lang kaya gumamit ng myself kaya ito ay emphatic ay intensive pronoun I made myself sick be because I made myself sick because of the heat okay ano yan intensive or reflexive I made myself I myself made sick I made myself so reflexive sumasagot sa tanong na ano I made myself sick because of the heat you yourself are responsible for all the problems in school binibigyang diin lang yung you kaya gumamit ng yourself he himself he himself matik yan ay emphatic he himself will participate in the rally she herself has written these lines emphatic binibigyan din lang yung she dog itself has caught the cat ano yan I my ito kasi I myself pwede din niyang intensive. Okay? Ito, she herself has written this line. She herself. Dog itself has caught the cat. Dog itself. We ourselves, we ourselves intensive pronoun. We we ourselves won the game. They themselves helped the poor. They themselves. Pwedeng wala yan, kaya yan ay intensive pronoun lang. The doctor, ano kayang pwede ilagay dito? Doctor, pwede yung babae, pwede yung lalaki. The doctor herself or himself need to care his patients. The doctor himself or herself needs to care his patients. Sujata, can, can you fix this problem yourself? yourself kasi yung kausap niya ay you at yan ay intensive pronoun she pag she babae so herself gamitin natin she herself learned to play the piano the washing machine has an automatic water drainage system itself since washing machine is bagay yan binibigyan din lang natin so washing machine has an automatic water drainage system itself So, number five, fourth class students wrote and performed the song themselves. Kasi pinag-uusapan natin is marami na mga students kaya themselves. Suhana, Suhana, have you hurt yourself? Suhana, have you hurt yourself? Yourself ay isa lang kasi isa lang si Suhana. So, binibigyan diin lang natin si Suhana. Kaya, herself kung babae siya. Nursery class kids cry themselves very loudly to go home. Themselves, kasi marami yung kids na ating pinag-uusapan kaya themselves. Nisha learned herself how to play badminton. Nisha, girl, pinag-uusapan natin yung third person kaya herself. Binibigyan din lang natin yung Nisha. Itong we were angry at ourselves. 
for mistake in the class B. Kaya ourselves kasi tayo, tayo yung nagsasalta, binibigyan din lang natin yung sarili natin. Kaya we were angry at ourselves for mistake in the class. The installments for TV cut itself from the account. They finished the painting themselves. Rudra prepared the breakfast herself. Kasi babae si Rudra. Ravi, Raima, and you can finish the task yourselves. Kasi pinag-usapan natin. Ay, kausap natin sila. Ito, you. Yourselves. Tatlo sila kaya. Selves. Yourselves. Ito, the movie itself. Kasi, in NI object. The movie itself was boring. However, ito, number 15. I liked it myself. I myself liked it. So, ganun lang kung paano mag uh, lagay ng intensive or reflexive pronoun. Pag intensive, binibigyan din mo lang sa sarili mo, o yung kausap mo, yung pinag-uusapan, at pwedeng wala na yon Pag reflexive talaga, kailangan yun sa isang sentence, dahil yun ay nagsisilbing object ng verb, at tumatanggap ng verb. Okay?